Hello and welcome to Ben's Ramblings, Recipes, Reviews, and Ramblings. Today I've got another video about some new Blackstone products. On the screen you see the Blackstone 4 burner 36 inch griddle with air fryer and hood. This has been out for about a year now. Nothing new here, but what I did want to do is showcase all of the air fryer models that Blackstone has or has announced. So we've got the 36 inch 4 burner with the two air fryer bins or the two air fryer baskets and the warming draw. You also have the 28 inch two burner with a single air fryer basket and a warming draw, which was announced in the middle of 2020, towards the end of 2020. You also have the 28 inch Culinary Pro Lowe's exclusive, which I showed in my other video. There's a link above to that video. This is a two burner 28 inch with the air fryer to the side and a cabinet underneath. It's a nice griddle. I don't quite get the price point. You've got a 28 inch griddle that's $600, the same price as the four burner 36 inch griddle basically. You're sacrificing griddle space. You're sacrificing one air fryer draw. You don't have the cabinet underneath, but for essentially the same price, you've lost that. What you've also gained is size. It's actually larger than the 36 inch griddle is. Uh, and I'll show you that in a minute when I show you the covers that Lowe's has for their new culinary series griddles. So you've got the 28 inch with the one air fryer culinary pro Lowe's exclusive 5.99. Todd Tobin just showed the other day this Blackstone Adventure Ready 17 inch portable griddle with electric air fryer. Now it's portable, but to use the air fryer, you still do need power. Um, I'm not sure what the power utilization is on it. I cannot find specs for the power anywhere, um, but it does have a six quart air fryer basket, a 17 inch single burner. Um, it is a nice setup. It's got the grease tray in the back. You'll see here, let's zoom in a little bit. You can see there's a single burner for your griddle top and to the right you have the burner for the air fryer basket with the switch for the air fryer fan. So um, nice setup for a portable setup if you are looking for that but you do need power for that air fryer. Uh, so you need to have either a campsite with an air fryer if you're plugging it into an RV that's a great solution or you need to have a generator with you. Um, so just something to be aware of, but a, a nice new addition very slick looking with the cover down. They don't have a picture here with the cover down, but if you go to Todd Tovin's video, uh, there should be a link up above for Todd Tovin's video where he shows this off in person. Um, it's a nice griddle. It looks like a great option for somebody who's looking for a smaller griddle with an air fryer to be portable when they travel. While I was looking on Blackstone's website, as I mentioned, I found they have the covers in the last video I did about the Culinary Series and the E-Series on uh, Walmart. They, oh, I could only find the cover for the 36 inch, but here you'll see they now have covers for the 36 inch, the 28 inch with the air fryer, which is what you see here. So this is the 28 inch with the air fryer. The 70 inch wide model is for the 36 inch griddle, and then this 62 inch model is for the new culinary collection 30 inch three burner griddle that's a Lowe's exclusive as well again if you want the Lowe's exclusive uh, and the e-series griddles are in the last video I did while I was looking at the new accessories on Lowe's website I came across a single burner recreational stove um, looks like a nice option it folds up to a pretty small package so if you want to tailgate or anything along those lines. Great option. You can obviously throw a pot on this, do some frying, uh, steam lobsters, whatever the case may be. Uh, $99, I think it's a reasonable price point. There are other options that are similar for about the same money. Um, definitely a nice option to have. This is a 21,000 BTU burner, so you get a lot of heat there, and it adjusts from 32 to 22 inches in height. 99 bucks, I think a great price point. 
Blackstone has also come out with their new culinary series accessories. This is the culinary basting dome. That's a square 10 by 10 inch dome, similar to the um, signature series that they came out with last year. It's kind of that squared off design, um, but this is a small version where last year they came out with that larger, I think it was 20 by 10 or something along those lines, much larger, a much larger basting dome. Here I'm showing you last year's signature series griddle press. This is the large one. There's also a smaller version. I have the smaller version, and while I love the press, there's one issue with it. The handle, when you grab it, is screwed on either end, and because of that, it the handle tends to twist. There's no way that it's, it's not locked in there. It doesn't come loose, and it doesn't rotate all the way around, but it does rock back and forth, which makes it feel chintzy. The new culinary cast iron burger press has a squared off handle. I can't see, there are not any other pictures, so I can't really see how it's attached, but because of the way that it is, I am assuming it does not rotate back and forth or twist back and forth. This, again, showing out of stock. I think these are new items. I don't even think they've come into stock yet. $20, um, same price as the larger griddle press, but uh, you know, a nice option. Another issue with the Blackstone Signature Series, griddle spatulas and scraper that many people complain about is that this connection here, let me zoom in. You'll notice the connection where the griddle goes into the handle is flat. And what a lot of people complain about is that bends very easily and it has broken on them on the scraper or on the spatulas when they try to do a smash burger and use the spatula to press down on it or something like that. On the new culinary series, you can see here, the connection going into the spatula handle is bent. That bend will add a ton of strength and will make these a much better option than those signature series. So hopefully these will be better designed. You can see here, this is a three piece set, two spatulas not slotted, which is another nice feature and a scraper, $27. This should be a good option for those people looking for another set of spatulas. This is the old Black Zone seasoning packaging. $5 for a bottle. You know, there are a bunch of different options out there. They have now come out with, uh, I don't know if these are Lowe's exclusive or not, but they've come out with three three packs of seasoning. It's got a new packaging design. You'll notice these are samples because it doesn't even look like there's any seasoning in these bottles. But you have, sh this is the Griddle More Trio Steak and Burger. You've got Chicago steak, carne asada, pub burger, $15, basically the same price per bottle, but you get a three pack. Um, there's also a three pack called the breakfast, lunch, and dinner combo, lumberjack breakfast blend, chicken griddle, and all purpose. And let's see, I think there's a little description down here. Chicken griddle and all purpose hickory smoked seasoning. So lumberjack, they're saying, is ideal for poultry, beef, bacon, or pork, chicken griddle, ideal for fish, poultry, or pork, and all-purpose hickory, ideal for beef, pork, poultry, shellfish, or fish. And the last three-pack is the regional favorites. So you have a sweet teriyaki, a bayou blend Louisiana Cajun, and street taco. Again, here they're telling you what they recommend you put them on. Uh, sweet teriyaki is ideal for beef, pork, shellfish, poultry, or fish. Bio blend, Louisiana Cajun is ideal for beef, pork, shellfish, poultry, or fish. And street taco, ideal for pork, beef, shellfish, poultry, or fish. Um, it says hints of citrus, meld with classic sweetness in the sweet teriyaki. Uh, street taco brings you mouth-watering memories of Mexico, and the bio blend will transport you to the marshes of the south. The links to all the products I've shown you today are available in the description down below. Well, everybody, these are the new products I found on Lowe's website, along with the two new the two new air fryer models. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like it, please share it with your friends, and don't forget, subscribe and ring that bell. Ding, ding. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.